Hi friends, TC Popcorn here at TC Popcorn on Twitter and on Insta. Make sure to uh, spend some time relaxing, enjoying a little bit. Welcome to the weekend, I guess, as much as it can be the weekend. And this whole week has kind of felt like a weekend already, right? Actually, it kind of feels like a trapped weekend in a lot of ways. Oh, it's time for another edition of uh, Quarantine Cards. I gave you a day off yesterday. So, uh, yeah, today I'm working on... Uh, some of those new Ain't No Laws. Um, this is the lemon version, and it's very lemony. Um, I've had the mango and the watermelon. Those are pretty good. Um, this is a little lemony for my tastes. We'll put it that way. But uh, cheers. Oh, let's see. Some notes today. Stuff to talk about. Shelter in place has been ordered by our governor. Um, just talking here, Mrs. Popcorn is holding the camera again. Hello, Mrs. Popcorn. Hello. Um, it's not anything different from what we've been doing, really. I mean, we've just been hanging around the house and, uh, only going out when we need to, which is basically what it is. It's just ordering some additional things shuttered. Um, you're allowed to walk around. Um, today we covered, I think, three miles. For some reason, my six-year-old, who we've been told and her gym teacher said, you know, make sure to get workouts. She wants to go for a walk, but she wants to pull her wants us to pull her in the wagon. So I don't know how much of a workout that is for her, as much as it is for us. But uh, we did cover a lot of ground today. Um, I'm wearing the Eric Church hat, EFC Eric Flippin Church. Uh, he had a documentary release today. I've been hoping that he would do a live stream. I guess Garth Brooks is doing a live stream on Monday. Um, but EFC had a holding my own tour documentary release to his fan club members, which was pretty cool. Got a chance to watch that. Check it out. Eric Church is the man. And uh, I'm wearing a Pearl Jam shirt. I know it's a little hard to tell, but their new album is coming out very soon. And they postponed the start of their tour for that new album because of all of the uh, COVID-19 issues that are happening. Let's see. What other notes do I have? Um, I just was watching uh, a YouTube station. Found this. was on one of the groups that I was a member of or that I am a member of. It's called MLB Vault. It's on YouTube. Check it out. MLB Vault. Um, it's got some of the greatest games in baseball history. I was just on my TV watching the 1988 World Series, of which I was only seven years old. The Kirk Gibson game. Game one, Dodgers and A's. And, you know, if you've got how good that Oakland A's team was with McGuire and Canseco and Dave Henderson and they had Dave Parker and Terry Steinbach and Carney Lansford and Dave Stewart won 21 games. It's also a pretty cool managerial matchup. You've got to Laz as the manager, Tony La Russa, and Tommy La Sorda for the Dodgers as the heat kicks on here in the house. Apparently it's a little chilly outside. It was kind of chilly today for that matter. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, food. Oh, here's a question for you. What are you doing for food during this quarantine period? You're still allowed to go to grocery stores. Um, the other day, I went with rotisserie chicken, which I grabbed when I went on Monday. Uh, rotisserie chicken is usually good for two to three meals, right? We use it in chili. Uh, today for lunch, I use it in uh, just put it in a little bowl, throw some barbecue sauce on top, mix it together, microwave it, and then you can make little sandwiches that way, little sliders. Uh, what are you, some of your go-to food recipes? Give me a shout. Let me know. At TC Popcorn on Twitterverse. And you can leave a note on Facebook as well if you desire. Um, Joe Davis, who's the voice of the Dodgers. Ironically, I'm talking about Vince Scully, who was broadcasting that uh, Kirk Gibson game. Uh, Joe actually replaced Vince Scully. And uh, Joe has been posting during this um, plenty of opportunities to cook food. So he usually does that in a lot of cases anyway. He likes to, to smoke his food a lot, so he'll use the smoker. Um, and so he was posting a lot of recipes that I saw as well. Uh, with things that he likes to do. So if you have some suggestions, let me know. Let's get into the cards. Uh, I want to blitz through another pack of Tops Opening Day because there's a bunch of them, and they're kind of quick. So here we go with the 2020 Tops Opening Day. Seven cards in the pack. And uh, we start with uh, another Astro. Carlos Correa. Don't know what they're talking about. That was what he said in his interview, of course, with Ken Rosenthal. Uh, Brandon McKay, rookie card, member of the Tampa Bay Rays, uh, Montgomery and Durham last year. Pretty good numbers. Actually, not pretty good. Very good. 1.1 ERA, .81 whip. My gosh. Needed less than 40 career starts to make his way into the big leagues. We've got uh, Andres Munoz, 
rookie card from the Padres, and that's that uh, brown and yellow jerseys. He was also a minor leaguer, uh, Amarillo and El Paso. Amarillo by morning. Shout out to Sam Levitt, my man who's the voice of the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Uh, we've got a Luis Arias card with the Minnesota Twins. Um, 92 games with the Twinkies. Hit 334. Four homers, 28 RBIs. Uh, finished just .01 behind AL batting champ Tim Anderson in 2019. So pretty good numbers there. We've got a uh, Charlie Morton card. Also with the Rays. He's still hanging around. Boy, back of his card starts at 2008 with the Braves. He was with the Pirates from 09 to 15. The Phillies in 16. The Astros in 17 and 18. And the Rays in 19. Still had a 3.05 ERA. Finished 16 and 6 last year. Hey, I got a uh, a good one. A refractor, as it were. Michael Chavis with the Red Sox. Uh, boy, kind of feel for Red Sox fans, uh, Boston fans, I guess, in general. Chris Sales having Tommy John surgery. Tom Brady left the Pats. And you got uh, Mookie Betts getting traded out to the West Coast. Tough time to be a New England fan, to say the least. But uh, this is a cool um, March 26, 2020 refractor um, for Michael Chavis. It says number 140 on the back, so it can't be that rare. Um, it's not like one of or whatever, but it's still pretty cool with that highlight. And then uh, here's a, what looks like a special Juan Soto. Let's check this out. Oh, it's a Juan Soto sticker. It says, you have received an MLB sticker collection preview card from 2020 opening day baseball. Uh, Annie's a big fan of the MLB sticker collection. I got her going on that last year. All right, so that was this. And I wanted to keep going through and uh, Tops 2020, Series 1. Just kind of continuing with my 2020 series before we take a look back at some from last year and some old ones as well. Um, and we'll kind of work our way through these quickly as well. The cool thing is you always got to like turn the cards upside down, right? So here's a Nico Goodrum, the Tigers. We had uh, one of his cards in the opening day set, uh, Twins and Tigers in his career. Tony Gonsolin from the Dodgers. Check out that stash. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Oklahoma City last year, small world story, Oklahoma City's clubhouse manager is the man who was the clubhouse manager for the Schaumburg Boomers back in the day. Uh, Jason Kipnis with the Indians. He ain't in Cleveland anymore. Sorry about it, Tribe fans. He's a Northsider now. Um, and you're probably like, good riddance, because the last good year that he had for the Indians was 2016 when they lost to the Cubs. He had 275 that year. 232, 230, and 245 since. Hopefully he's back to that 275 tarp and, and is the starting second baseman for the Cubs this year. We'll see. Ken Giles, he is the closer for the Blue Jays. Had 23 saves last year and 14 in 2018 as he was traded from Houston to Toronto. Very good breakout year last year, though. 1.87 ERA and 83 strikeouts in 53 innings. Don't know what that breaks down to in case per nine, but uh, it's pretty good. Speaking of uh, trying to turn cards right side up, let's go this way. Here we go. We got uh, Tyler Glass now with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, six and one last year, 1.78 ERA in uh, 12 outings. Um, pumps high 90s heaters past overmatched hitters. He's the AL Pitcher of the Month in March and April, but an injury pulled the plug on his monumental breakout campaign. Yusei Kukuchi with the Mariners. I actually have an autograph card of him that I got for Christmas. Uh, last year was his big league debut. He was 6-11 with a 5.46 ERA. Uh, came to the Mariners after playing in Japan from 2011 to 2018. And uh, the back of his card says, I'll try to take on the world once I have become the number one pitcher in Japan, he once said. I've got a team card of the Cleveland Indians which has uh, just some statistics on the back. They finished second in the American League Central at 93-69, and 69, seeing their streak of three straight division titles end, but they hung gamely in the AL wildcard race until the final weekend. 93 wins were the most of any team that did not make the postseason, and they made monumental changes this offseason. Curious to see how they look. Uh, speaking of club cards, here is an Oakland Athletics 
We were talking about the 88 A's, quite the contrast from the 2019 A's, although they did win 97 games, finished second in the AL West. Uh, to the AL Wild Card game lost again. It was their 10th postseason appearance in the last 20 years. Um, who led the team in batting average last year for the A's? Just think about that for one second. Three, two, one. Marcus Simeon is the answer to that question. Former White Sox, ironically. Does he call a White Sox or a White Sox? White, he played for the White Sox. We'll say it that way. Speaking of the Oakland Athletics, here's Robbie Grossman. I love him in my video games for whatever reason. Uh, with the A's last year, hit 240. Six homers, 38 driven in, 138 games. He's a pretty good defensive player, which is no surprise with what they do in Oakland, right? Got another sideways card. Jalen Davis of the San Francisco Giants. That's his rookie card. Uh, played at three levels last year, combined to hit 306. He was the International League Player of the Week in July and uh, was traded from Minnesota to San Francisco in the Sam Dyson deal. Here is a Tops Now card. It is Bryce Harper in that uh, fun Phillies blue jersey, right? Uh, Tops Now celebrates the great moments through the year. Um, this one was after a walk-off Grand Slam, it says on there. One of the things about the Tops 2020 cards, they have these throwbacks to what are called Turkey Reds. This is uh, a Marcel Ozuna from the Cardinals. Um, through physical comparisons to Vladimir Guerrero and Andre Dawson, we signed with the Marlins in 2008. We got Brandon Woodruff, starting pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, 22 outings last year was 11 and 3, 3.62 ERA, 143 Ks and 121 and two thirds. He was uh, injured during his All Star season, but I would safe to say he's. Probably one of the favorites to be a uh, starter on opening day, whenever that might be for the Brewers this year. Looks like three cards left. Nelson Cruz with the Twins. Let's see, the aging Cruz hit 41 homers last year. Batted 311 in a resurgent season, driving in 108. Um, Brewers, Rangers, Orioles, Mariners, Twins on the back of his card. The 41 homers marked the third time in his career that he had hit 40 or more in a season and uh, his wins above replacement was 4.3 that was amongst the highest in his career as well born uh, in 1980 so older than me and yet still in the big leagues man did i miss my calling uh hey guess what it's that nico goodrum guy again did i already do this one i think i did yeah i think i got through the whole pack so I, it wasn't those two cards i just didn't put them in there ha <laughs> ha anyway nico goodrum and the wondrous hair of tony gonsolin what I got for you on this one. Day three of quarantine cards. Stay safe, my friends. Wash those hands.